Let's play with makeup that I've never tried before. There's actual makeup brands that I've never tried and then just makeup products that I've tried the brand already. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Let's start with the primer. This is by Zoeva, but this right here is their eyeshadow fix matte long wear. It is $12. Well, okay. It's very thick and putty like. You have to really force it out of the tube. On the box it said liquid. I don't think this is a liquid. I feel like it definitely canceled out some of that redness and some of those veins. All right, let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited for this. This is by Violet Voss, and this is their Like a Boss Pro Eyeshadow Palette, $45, which it seems very expensive, but you're getting a lot of shade. You have matte finish, metallic finish, satin, and shimmer. Okay, so these are just the metallic shades right here. I will say most of these swatched really good besides this shadow right here, the lightest, which is called Swag, and then this last one, which is called Royal. Let me quickly swatch the mattes, okay. So with the matte shadows, most of them swatched pretty good, but there were two, sh three shadows actually that were a little dry. I had to like really go in there and warm them up. So the first one was Hustle, which is this lightest shadow right here that you can barely see on my arm. This one right here, Woman Crush Wednesday, WCW, which is a third shadow. And then we had this one Strong. This one had a hard time. No, this one, this like purple, mauve brown shadow right here. I had a hard time swatching that. And then their black, which is called Inspo, is very dry, but it looks like there's still pretty good pigment. But the best shadow, as you can see, the swatch was called Snatched. And it was, for some reason, the butteriest shadow out of the entire palette, even with the metallic sands and shimmers. I mean, I have no issue swatching this one whatsoever. And I barely put my finger in and look at all of that kickback. But let's apply these to the eyes and create something. I'm gonna take the shade extra. I'm just gonna take my fingers. I'm gonna take this kind of all over the lid. And I'm trying to like pat it onto my eyes instead of really swiping it. Like this is like really bringing out the green in my eyes. It's actually really pretty. I'm gonna take a smaller little brush. I'm gonna go in with Woman Crush Wednesday for the crease. I'm gonna take a lighter shade called Hustle. I'm gonna bring that right in here. Take a smaller one. I'm gonna take Motivate, this really cool toned shadow right here. I'm gonna take the shade Amaze Balls. <laughs> I like the name. Where is it? This one right here, right above it. Get it wet. I wanna apply that right just in the center. I'm just gonna go back into Motivate, that darker shadow, matte shade. Yeah, that's actually kind of pretty good. It gives it like a nice foiled effect. Okay, so I did the eyeshadow and I'm kind of liking it. It's giving me like a mossy army green, very kind of fall-like colors. It's really pretty, very easy to blend, very easy to layer. I had no issues with like patching or balding, but I will say the colors, especially these two right here, I feel like I kind of wanted something extra from them, like a little bit more like foiled or metallic and a little more popping. Even when I got them wet, like you can see that right there on both sides, they're just not popping enough for me. So I will say that I'm not impressed with how they're sitting on my eyes. I thought there would be a little bit more something to it, you know? But I like how creamy, buttery and blendable all of these shadows were and there's very minimal amount of fallout i'm seeing a little bit right here and right here but it's not a lot so that's good let's move on to eyeliner we have this one by florence florence by mills it's basically what's her name millie bobby brown from stranger things mm -hmm. that's the actress this is her makeup line and it's at, at ulta and we got this shadow this not shadow this shade right here call time so this right here, it's her What's My Line eyeliner. It's a pencil eyeliner that supposedly has 12 hour wear time. And it's a twist top, which is really interesting. But this eyeliner, it's not precise or anything. It's just like a cylinder shape, which I haven't really experienced. Usually it has a point or something. So this is fascinating. And I'm trying to see if there's like a sharpener, but no, there isn't. Let's apply this to the tight line and a little bit on the lashes. I'm just having a hard time drawing on top of these eyeshadows. I have to like really bring up this eyeliner. It is creamy though, I like that. But yeah, it's like, where is where is the eyeliner? From what I swatched to how it's going on. You have to put a lot of pressure. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to smoke this out. <laughs> it sets really fast. 
I mean, it's really, really pretty. And I didn't even say the price. Originally it's $14, but right now they're on sale for $10.50. I do like how pigmented they are and how creamy, or at least this pencil is, but it is having a little bit of a hard time because it's you have to press a little bit harder than I usually do, but it looks like it's layering really nice. And you do have to go in really fast after. I'm just gonna tight line. So eyeliner, it's not as pigmented when it goes on top of eyeshadow for some reason, but on the tight line, because it sets so fast, it's really, really pretty. And it gives a really nice intense, looks like I have really, really full lashes when I really don't. And it's not transferring to the waterline, which is great. I love that. Cause sometimes I just wanna tight line my top lash line and not my waterline. And this is phenomenal, but I don't like this over eyeshadow. I like it for my tight line a lot. And I feel like it's not gonna go anywhere. Let's move on to the face. We have a new primer. So this right here is by the brand Exa. This is their Jump Start Smoothing Primer, $34. It has really good reviews. So this right here, what is this? This is a clean semi-matte primer charged with a triple antioxidant blend that creates a canvas of possibility for any skin tone. That sounds very nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Apply after skincare or on clean skin prior to makeup application. You can also mix it with their foundation to create a sheer tinted moisturizer. Okay, nice, nice. We're doing half the face, yeah. We're gonna do the right side. It's going on really smooth. It kind of has a consistency of like a gel cream with a little bit of like a blurring primer touch, you know, like a little bit of that filling demethicone characteristic, but it's not, it doesn't feel super heavy. That's actually really nice. It kind of blurs it in, blurs your skin, and it sets really fast too. I will say what I'm noticing, the texture of my pores, they're just nice and blurred, not super, super blurred and just diffused, but very soft, like it looks natural. Okay, let's move on to foundation. This right here is by Elsie. I think it's just Elsie Cosmetics or just Elsie. But this right here, this is her Micro Silk Foundation, each 45, whoa, $45, that's actually expensive. So I picked up shade Cameo and Porcelain. I think the two of the lightest shades. So what is this? This is a lightweight yet buildable HD coverage liquid foundation that is made for every skin type, leaving the face to feel flawless, smooth, and hydrated. It's lightweight, anti-aging, blendable, mild transfer resistant. I've actually never seen that before. Paraben free, vegan, gluten free, and HD coverage. Use fingertips for a thin application or a sponge to layer for desired coverage. Okay, so let's use a dampened sponge and I'm just shaking both of them because you can kind of see the separation. I'm just placing a little bit kind of all over the face and then we'll take the lightest shade. For some reason, this one is a lot more thick in texture, very different consistencies. That was weird. You saw that, right? Like very, and I shook both really well. Okay, and this one is definitely more peachy, a lot more salmon in color. And the texture is really interesting. Okay, let's use a blender. Let's go on this side first without the primer. I think if anything I'm gonna pick about is the color, both colors actually. They don't match the description in my opinion. And honestly, they're a little too dark and these are the lightest shades. It's blending really well, but I'm finding that I'm having to apply a little bit more pressure to get it onto my skin <laughs> evenly. Let's go on this side. This side has a little bit of time to sit. Let's see if it's gonna blend well. Yeah, I'm having no issues on top of this primer. Okay, <laughs> there's something weird with this foundation. Do you remember that foundation that we did? It was like color changing, Rebel, is that what it was? Basically I had to do was apply it on the back of my hand, warm it up because it was a white foundation. But then when you get it warm with your body temperature, it changes to your like perfect shade match for your skin tone because it has those pigments in there that kind of pop. I'm seeing like white dots all over my face. Like I think it's from this foundation because it's on both sides. It's not just on the primer or this side. When you move it around, it pops and there's pigment there. That's why I said it looks like that Rebel foundation. Yeah, you can kind of see a lot on my chin right here. What I basically did was just use my fingertips and just patted it into my skin to get rid of any of those little tiny dots. Cause it looks like it's dry little dots on my face, but then when you actually touch them, 
it kind of pops, but I just wanna make sure it's blended in. The finish, like it looks very natural, but a little more semi-matte now that it has time to set and it doesn't feel tacky whatsoever. It doesn't feel sticky, feel set, which actually feels really nice on the skin. And I'm not really seeing a difference with the primer besides the pores from the beginning. Like the pores look a little more airbrushed and blurred with the primer. Moving on to eyebrows. We have by the same brand Zoeva that I used for the eyeshadow primer. And this is actually a set. It's new on their website. It's called Remarkable Brow Set. You get an eyebrow pencil along with their clear brow gel for $29. I picked up shade taupe brown for the eyeshadow pencil and then clear for the brow gel. Let's fill the brows in. And then let's set them with the brow gel. I like the color of this pencil, but it's reminding me, in, in a good way, it's reminding me of the L'Oreal pencil. So I'm not sure why this is so expensive. I do like it though. I really like the brow pencil a lot. I like the color and the formula. The reason why I was saying it remind me of, reminds me of the L'Oreal pencil, the L'Oreal, it's a little bit drier and it kind of has that like pomade texture. But I think because the color is so beautiful and it is pigmented, you can just apply the lightest amount of pressure and it kind of just sticks to your brow hairs in a way. And then when you blend it out, it just, it, does a, it just does something really beautiful. So I'm really liking this pencil so far. Let's use this right here, the super, super tiny little brush for the brow gel. You can buy each separately. The pencil is $16 and the gel is 18. For concealer, we have Hint Beauty. So this right here, it's a duet perfecting concealer. And we picked up two shades right here and each one is $28. It looks like you can only buy this online. This is an award-winning full coverage color correcting concealer with skincare benefits for comfortable all day wear. Mm, I love that. It has a natural finish that looks like your skin and it stays put, especially when lightly dusted with a finishing powder. I'm gonna take a good amount, place on the back of my hand and just kind of really work off of that and just dab underneath the eyes. It feels really nice. It's definitely, it's definitely more creamy than balmy. So I feel like with balm, it has a little bit more of like a shiny, a little more of like a greasy, slippy feel. This one is definitely more creamy. It kind of reminds me of the NARS Soft Matte actually. With the amount that I got, it's providing a natural finish and a natural coverage. It's not super, super full and thick. This is really pretty. And I like that you can use your finger to warm it up, but the texture, it's kind of, um, kind of has like a silky velvety texture. It's really, really pretty. I feel like if anything, you don't even need to set it with powder, but I will because I do have a new powder I want to play with, but that is actually really, really stunning. Like that's a huge difference. And I like that it looks natural up close and far away. To set the concealer, I'm using this one by Fashion Fair from Sephora. Set it loose powder. It's nuts and translucent. Is that the name? It's nuts? <laughs> it is. That's what it's called. It's nuts. It's a translucent for light to medium skin tones and they have five other shades for different skin tones. I'm just gonna take my sponge. Like I said, I don't need to set this concealer, but I am going to. Wow, that is a very smoothing setting powder and I have the tiniest amount of my sponge. It's definitely very matte and you can see it with this concealer, but it's very soft. Blurry. Yeah, it's definitely very, very blurring. That is actually really pretty. For mascara, I have two of them by the same brand. This is by Jane Ardell. So the first one is the longest lash thickening and lengthening mascara, $35. What is this brush? That is a pipe cleaner. Wow, I did not expect this massive brush to come out of this tube. Let's go on the right side with this one. And then on the left eye, we have Beyond Lash, their volumizing mascara. And this one retails for $28. Nothing's happening. Okay, there's definitely fibers in here. Nope, mm -mm. get into my eyeball already. All right, you're not doing it. Like I can't even wiggle it because it's so big. It's just gonna go all over my eyes and my face. Not impressed with this mascara, especially for $35. Wow, it's like not doing anything for my lashes. I don't like this, that I have to sit here and make this mascara work for this price point. Let's move on to her other mascara. So 
also a little more natural. But I feel like at least this wand is letting me grip to the lashes and deposit that formula. I'm just taking the Florence eyeliner that I used on the top lash line. I'm very, very gently applying very little pressure to the lower lash line and waterline together. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like either mascara. This one right here, this longest lash mascara, it's too painful because those little fibers, they just keep poking your eyeball and just, it's always there, any kind of movement you make. So you have to like clean up after this mascara and it's kind of annoying, especially for the price and it's not doing anything. It's not giving me fuller or longer lashes. This one right here is just too messy to work with. This brush, it's not bad, but it just picks up so much mascara. Do you see how goopy that is? So you have to clean it up every single time and the formula, it's so sticky. It's clumpy, it doesn't give you longer lashes, it doesn't really even give you volume. It's just, it's not a pleasant mascara to work with. So both mascaras, I'm gonna give them a major pass because the price point is too high for what it's doing. I am excited for this next little palette. This is by Juvia's Place and this is their bronzed bronzer palette in shade light. And this retails for $18. I would say this is a very natural, soft, contour, which a lot of the time that's what I want. It's going on really, really nice. Very smooth, very even, especially for the price, $18 for this little palette. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take a bigger bronzer brush and dip into the warmer shade. They're not really intense in pigment, but they're very easy to work with and build. For blush, we have Jane Ardell. And I was telling them I hope she redeems herself. <laughs> from her mascaras. This right here is her Pure Pressed Blush. Each $30, very expensive. It's very soft, it's a nice color, but I'm not really like wowed by it. it kind of reminds me of the Milani. They're not the baked, but the other one that I love. I mean, that's a really pretty color. For lip liners, we have Juvia's Place, and this is their Lux Lip Liners. Originally $10, but they're currently on sale for $6. And I have two shades here. First one is called Lush. That's very pretty. Very pretty, very creamy. And next we have Sweet Nothing. <laughs> Ooh, which one do I wanna do? Let's go with the first one. It just says, it's a long wearing lip pencil that glides seamlessly to define and fill in the lips. I will say the lip liner, it's a little on the thicker side. And I'm, I'm putting barely any pressure with this. I'm impressed. Wow, even just on its own, it's really pretty. I do have lipsticks. This is by Fas Fashion Fair. I think it just says iconic lipstick. $26 each. This is called Lace. Oh, that's stunning. And then we have Koi. Oh my, these are pigmented and super, super creamy. Let's go with Koi and then maybe a little bit of lace on top. That's a very comfortable formula. I do wanna set my face with a setting spray. This is by Florence. Florence by Mills. This is their Zero Chill Makeup Setting Spray with blue light protection. That's fancy. Originally $18 on sale for $13.50. So this right here is a hydrating setting spray to help keep your makeup in place to prevent a zero chill mood. No idea what that means, but it supposedly instantly cools and refreshes your skin. I already sprayed this and it's aggressive. I mean, that's aggressive spray. So I'm not gonna spray directly on my face. We're gonna spray it directly on the sponge. Oh my, that feels pretty nice. I feel like it kind of relaxed the powdery look on my skin. I like how it all came together with the lips, with the cheeks, with the eyeshadow. I think it all matches really well. I'm really, really liking the lip color with that lip liner. That lip liner was really stunning. These lipsticks, super creamy, very pigmented, and they feel really nice on the lips. Next thing that really stood out to me was that contour and bronzer. I really like how it was easy to layer, to build up, and it looks really pretty on the cheeks, and the price is really beautiful. And this setting powder, I actually really, really like. I think it's stunning. I'll see you guys in a little bit for the full update. Doing the one and only update for this makeup that I've never tried before, just because the day kind of got away from me, and then we went to dinner, but this is what we're looking like. I'm not upset at how my face is looking, especially like looking at my forehead. Yes, it looks shiny, but 
it doesn't look oily. It still looks super smooth and even. The coverage still looks really good. That loose powder that I use, I actually really, really, really like it. Like my makeup still looks really smooth. Yes, it looks a little powdery, but it still looks very smooth and actually looks pretty natural up close as well. The one thing I will say about this foundation right here, I'm not liking the way it's cracked and it looks really dry. Like right there, you can see even on my chin. It's just kind of exaggerating everything. It doesn't look good and it doesn't feel good. Moving on from the forehead, the brows, I feel like they haven't moved at all. They still look really nice. I like my brow on the left side. I think it looks really good. But if anything, I would skip the brow gel and just, you know, if you already have a brow gel that you really like, really, really, really happy with the pencil. Is just, I don't know where else to buy it except from their website. And I believe to get free shipping, you have to spend like $100 or so. Moving on to eyeshadow. It looks like the eyeshadow hasn't creased like at all, which is, it's doing so good. The eyeliner is still on. I feel like you can still see it in my waterline. You can still see it on my tight line. Mascara's still very disappointed. Even though there's not much transfer, I'm just... He's laughing. I think Andre's chasing him. Like, I'm gonna show you guys up close. You can literally see the fibers. It's like tiny little hairs all over my face. Very disappointing with mascaras and just, I, yeah, no. I'm just very disappointed. Okay, moving from there, concealer. I really like the concealer along with the setting powder. I like the concealer a lot because it's very easy to use. Yes, you do have to use your finger, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but because it is that cream consistency, you do want that warmth from your fingertips. And just the way it blends, just the way it builds up, it's very smooth. And like I said, it's somehow skin-like, but I will say a little goes a long way. Definitely don't overbuild because it can look a little drying. Moving on to blush, bronzer, the Juvia's Place. I'm really impressed with that bronzer and contour. I like the way it's looking on my skin. And then moving on to what's the last thing? Lip liner. Like I said, I went to dinner. I didn't reapply the lipstick just because it's already pretty late outside, but lip liner is still there. Like I could still see my lip liner like actually outlining my lips. I'm pretty impressed with that. I will say the lipstick was very comfortable to wear, but like my lips, they're not like hydrated after the lipstick. Like I would definitely have to reapply, but my lips were definitely dry before applying the lipstick. And that lipstick formula was actually very, very comfortable. So I'm very happy that I picked those lipsticks up, but they are very expensive. But the formula is really beautiful. It's very creamy, not long lasting, I will say that. So you have to keep reapplying it, but it's a very creamy formula in a really good way. I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video, spending time with me, and I'll see the next one very soon. Bye. bye. You wanna say bye bye? <laughs> you wanna give a kiss? <laughs> say love you. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs>